I need a new introduction to these videos because I was flipping through my podcasts, uh, through my Pictures Without Pictures podcast library the other day just to make sure that they all had thumbnails. And as I was clicking through all of them to make the thumbnails come up, I just heard, Hello! 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 And I was like, oh no. So maybe I'll be experimenting with some things in the future, who knows. Either way, greetings and welcome back to another episode of a weekly waypoint. Today we're playing Unreal Tournament 99, an old favourite of this series. This is usually the game I go to when I'm not really, uh, I don't really have any plans for any game I want to play. Um, and it always usually just makes good background uh, visuals when I'm talking because we're all here for, for the actual discussion, right? Not, not for the gameplay. If you're here for the gameplay, what are you doing? I joke, of course, if you're here at all, I do thank you. Um, so anyway, this week I decided to bring back the roguelike ramble for a couple of reasons. First of all, Spelunky 2 is out, um, and I got it, and I've been playing it, and uh, if you're watching these weekly waypoints back to back, you're like, didn't he just say he shouldn't buy Spelunky 2? Well, I got some overtime, bitch. So yeah, I got Spelunky 2 and it's very fun, and then I was, I was like, I'll do one roguelike ramble in it, just, just for old time's sake. Um, and then as I did that, I was like, hey, actually, that was kind of fun. I kind of want to do that again. So now I'm experimenting with seeing where the roguelike ramble fits into this channel schedule. Obviously, I'm not going to do one every single day, but I think one here and there would be pretty fun. It's not necessarily going to replace the amount of uh, Adventures In and Shenanigans style videos that I usually make. I usually do two of those a week. I only did one of these this week. My apologies. Um, but yeah, no, I did like free roguelike rambles as well, so go watch those. That being said, I have had some hilarious technical difficulties while trying to record those. Um, I've tried to do a, a roguelike ramble in heat signature, um, multiple times now. Okay, I guess twice, but it was like, one was like a 15 minute video and the other was a 25 minute video, so I was very annoyed. The first one was all my fault because I actually went into shadow play options and muted my mic before I started because I'm used to doing that for the weekly waypoint, which is why you can't hear me just generally breathing in these, um, in like these recorded gameplay sessions because obviously I turn that shit off. Uh, and the second, the second issue was, uh, uh, well, was not my fault, it was Shadowplay's fault. I recorded a 25 minute run, there was lots of really good stuff in there, and Shadowplay was just like, oh, oh, you want me to record audio? Oh yeah, sorry fam, didn't do that. So I think in future I'm going to have to do the thing that most professional YouTubers do where they record their microphone audio separately with like Audacity or something and then like sync it up later. Which, you know, takes an extra five minutes to do, but I'm lazy, damn it. So last night I spent ages trawling through old soundtracks to firstly like Nintendo console stuff, so like the Wii Shop channel and like the Mii channel and all this kind of stuff. Uh, and that led me down a path to listen to the Wii Play and Wii Sports soundtracks and then Nintendogs as well from the DS era. Um, and as I was already in the DS era, I was like, well, because I was adding all of these tracks that I enjoyed to the Multiversal Melodies YouTube playlist, which is the one that has all of the stuff that w would never be on Spotify because age or Japan. Um, so I had fun doing that, and then I was like, while I'm here, I might as well do Mario Kart games, starting with the DS one, Mario Kart DS, because that was the first Mario Kart game I played. And holy shit, the nostalgia hit me like a goddamn brick. So yes, if you're curious, the Multiversal Melodies playlist should be available somewhere on my channel uh, for you to go and find, and that will have my favourite selections of tracks from Mario Kart DS, uh, from Mario Kart uh, Wii, from Mario Kart 7 and 8. I didn't play 7 a whole lot, um, but I, I did uh, find some tracks on there that I enjoyed. Also I've decided if I'm absolutely going to try and make a DS emulation of Mario Kart DS work at some point for Megabyte Avenue. Speaking of which, I also went back and finished RC Revenge uh, for Megabyte Avenue, so it's a, it's two parts, uh, two streams I did it in because it turns out that the childhood games that you spend hundreds of hours in um, really only take about four or five hours to complete. So yeah, parts one and two of those are up on my live stream channel. I don't mean to just be uh, advertising all the content I've made this week on this video, but I mean, where else am I going to do it? Twitter? Nobody reads my tweets, don't be stupid. Anyway, I already did it there as well, so... Uh... Also this week, continuing with a theme of plugging content you've probably already seen in your subscription box, I started to, or I finished re-watching, I finished watching season 1 of Avatar Legend of Korra, and so I've got my thoughts on season 1 up on there. Expect thoughts on season 2 soon because I'm rapidly coming towards the end of that too, and I have lots of thoughts again. Ah, oh, Boris Johnson just emailed me. Get out of my inbox, you fetid twat of a human. So I guess the big video game thing to talk about this week would be the fact that World of Warcraft Shadowlands has been delayed. 
and I'm actually relieved and I think a lot of people in the community are like it's uh, on the one hand it's a shame because you really want to be able to play uh, your World of Warcraft because Shadowlands look um, looks amazing but on the other hand it's like we've seen firsthand um, okay so Blizzard used to be this company which had this mantra of it's ready when it's ready and officially they've kept to that mantra but they haven't um, and Battle for Azeroth the latest expansion definitely suffered from it feeling like it was rushed out the door uh, they laid off a whole bunch of their QA department and there were loads of bugs and stuff and it just generally wasn't a great time um, but now they're delaying Shadowlands with the whole it's ready if it's ready when it's ready when it's ready thing and it just makes me feel like hopeful like I don't think they're gonna change anything uh, drastic like the Covenant systems I think they just need to work towards what they've already been working towards they just need more time to polish it um, but this expansion really needs to be good and it looks like it really will be good so long as it's given the attention and care that it needs and um, so yeah I'm really happy that they're doing that I'm even more excited for the fact that um, they've announced a date for the pre-patch which is October 13th and I have been so excited about this pre-patch that it really does um, kind of supplement Shadowlands in that like it's like the Shadowlands before Shadowlands for me that's kind of how hype I am because and I know I've been over this a thousand times it revamps the leveling experience and lets you level all the way through an entire expansion allegedly it looks like there's going to be a couple hiccups with that but basically it's going to be like a whole streaming series I do which I've already gone over a thousand times so you don't need to hear me ramble about again but look out for that it comes out on October 13th but I won't be able to play it on that day because it will probably happen the minute I go to work as it usually does um, Wednesdays usually I'm super tired and don't have a whole lot of time and I'll probably be hopping on there to check out um, some of the stuff with my main character first like how my class works now uh, I'm gonna go through my characters and do some customizations I might stream that I might not uh, depends how I'm feeling on the day uh, keep an eye on my Twitter for that uh, but then probably Thursday next week we'll get started unless I have unless I finish that up earlier than I expect probably Thursday next week we'll get started on like making our first horde uh, our troll shaman as the twitter polls dictate to and we will of course be leveling him through burning crusade as well as we are able and seeing just how well chromie time actually works so yeah it's nice to have something to be excited about um, also I'm getting as as the date draws near I'm getting more and more excited about my Xbox Series S with the Game Pass and all that um, I if you, I can't remember if I've talked about this before I'm sorry about this is just the plugging episode of a weekly waypoint but on my gaming blog uh, critigory.wordpress.com I have started a series called my Xbox All Access Adventure uh, where I'm basically going to be doing monthly blog posts detailing the games I played through Game Pass um, and it's going to be fun, and I hope to see you there as well. I'll probably also stream uh, some of those games as I play them too. So yeah, boy have I had a lot to say about the things I have done and I'm planning on doing this episode. Um, sorry if it's been one great big advertisement. I'm just very hyped about all of the content that I'm creating at this moment. It brings me joy, and I hope it brings you some measure of joy too. Oh, I completely forgot to talk about the fact that I gave Super Mario Bros. 35 a go, which is... Um, Super Mario Bros turned Battle Royale. It's quite fun. Uh, I think it does have the potential to drag on a bit too long though. I hope they update it and balance it out a bit because uh, people who are good at Mario can make those matches last ages and ages and ages and ages. It's kind of ridiculous but it is a lot of fun. Oh and also I got a free house and house Carl and pet in Elder Scrolls Online for doing something that I didn't do because they had a whole community challenge thing that I was planning on participating in but just never got round to doing so I felt like a bit of a fraud collecting those prizes but if you play Elder Scrolls Online you're probably just going to want to quickly log in and grab votes because it's a pretty damn nice looking house anyways that's me thank you very much for watching this jam packed episode of the weekly waypoint I will see you here next week or in another format uh, in a roguelike ramble or something like that goodbye for now I need a new outro too